and live internet streaming worldwide. ขอต้อนรับคุณผู้ชมทุกท่านเข้าสู่การถ่ายทอดสดรายการต่อสู้ระดับโลกส่งสัญญาณภาพผ่านดาวเทียมไปยัง168ประเทศทั่วโลกจาก Max m o ยไทย Stadium พัทยาและสามารถรับชมผ่านอินเทอร์เน็ตสตรีมมิ่งทั้ง Max m o ยไทยมือถือแอปได้ทั่วทุกมุมโลกและขอต้อนรับทุกท่านเข้าสู่รายการ Max m o ยไทยควายเตอร์และพบกับมิติกรเบียร์ Max m o ยไทยสวัสดีครับ Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the most exciting five sports in the world. Live broadcasting from Max Muay Thai Stadium in Pattaya. I'm your host, B. M. Max Muay Thai, and welcome to Muay Thai Fighter. ขอบคุณครับสวัสดีพี่น้องแฟนมวยทั่วประเทศและกลับสวัสดีพี่น้องแฟนมวยที่รับชมทางระบบออนไลน์สตรีมมิ่งอยู่ทั่วทุกมุมโลกครับขอต้อนรับเข้าสู่สุดยอดรายการกีฬาต่อสู้ที่มันได้สุดในโลกอาโนสดจาก Max กซ์มวยไทยสเตเดียมพัทยาแห่งนี้ครับออกอากาศทางช่องสปริงยี่สิบหกเวันเต็มแม็กซ์ผมรับหน้าที่พิธีกรประจํารายการเช่นเคยครับเบียร์แม็กซ์มวยไทยและขอต้อนรับทุกท่านเข้าสู่รายการมวยไทยไฟเดอร์อาละครับวันนี้ค่ําคืนนี้นะครับในรายการมวยไทยไฟเตอร์มีนักชกต่างชาติหลายคู่นะมีนักชกกัมพูชา2คู่และมีนักชกนะครับจากประเทศมอลโดวานะครับจะประทะกับนักชกจากสาธารณรัฐประชาชนจีนครับวันชนะวันนี้ใครเป็นใครไปชมรายชื่อกันเลย All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go fighters in tonight's program. In the first fight, Jumbo Free r a y o n g versus Extra Hu k i o n a y a And in the second bout, a Cambodian warrior s a n a s i a m versus c h o k Chai s a m o n g k o n Chai from Thailand. And in the third bout, 52 kilogram Super Knight Chai Dynamo versus k a o k l a i n a m d u m c h o k p r i c h a And our core main event in the fourth bout, p e t l a or s a b a i t a i versus r u e n p e t l e k Naya p a r k w i l And our main event coming up in the fifth bout, f a s a n g or y u t a c h a i versus Hudson m o r a c h a b l u t And in the sixth bout, we have a m o d e l w i n warrior, Katalin Movila was a Chinese warrior, Gong x i a o t o n g And the last bout, another Cambodian warrior, Saw Win versus a Thai warrior, k a n a k o n EUM Muay Thai Gym. เอาละครับคุณผู้ชมครับและรายการมวยไทยไฟเตอร์ต้องขอขอบคุณผู้สนับสนุนรายการดังต่อไปนี้ครับยาธาตุน้ำขาวตรากระต่ายบินอ้อยลำใหญ่ทั้งไร่พระปุ๋ยซอยเมดสูตรเป๊ะทุกถุงยาแก้ไอตราอาปาเช่และ Honda CBR 1 5 0 R ใหม่กำเนิดใหม่เราใจที่หนึ่ง Alright ladies and gentlemen we'll be right back after short break this is Muay Thai Fighter Muay Thai Fighter Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Muay Thai Fighter. And now let's start our first fight. เอาละครับทุกผู้ชมครับมาลุยกันเลยกับมวยกู้แรกของรายการมวยไทยไฟเตอร์ในค่ำคืนนี้ครับ All right, ladies and gentlemen, introducing a Thai warrior fighting out of the blue corner. He representing Kalasin Province, 16 years of age. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for j o m b o Free Rayong. A Thai warrior fighting out of the blue corner. He represented k a l a s i n Province. 16 years of age, ladies and gentlemen, j o m b o Free r a y o n g And his opponent in the red corner, and then a Thai warrior. He represented k a l a s i n Province. 15 years of age, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for. Extra k u k i o Naya. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing 
a young Thai warrior fighting out of the red corner. He represented Galasin Province. 15 years of air training at Naya Parkville Gym. Ladies and gentlemen, Extra Kukio Naya! Well, welcome back to the Max Muay Thai Stadium in Pattaya. Tonight we have another Max Muay Thai Fighter Show. Seven fights on tonight's card with fighters from Thailand, Cambodia, China, and Moldova. So another international lineup tonight. Starting things off in our 45 kilogram division, Thailand taking on Thailand and introducing first in the blue corner, Jumwo Fri Rayong. He's from Galasin, 16 years old, stands at 164 centimeters, has 50 fights, 29 wins, one draw, and 20 losses. His last two fights here at Max had a points loss against Jordan Namchai Fairtex and a points loss against Su Kim Sarung Wilai. He trains and fights at a free Rayong in Rayong where he's trained by Ngurn Ta Doi Toregit and he's managed by a free Rayong. His opponent in the red corner. Extra Ku Kiao Naya. He's from Galison as well, 15 years old, stands at 162 centimeters. He has 57 fights, 40 wins, one draw, and 16 losses. His last fight here at Max, he had a second round TKO loss against Wutachai Lek Luk Ban Yai. He trains in fights at a Naya Park View, where he's trained by Nampo Naya Park View and managed by Nayawati Pon Masan. I'm definitely pulling for a free rayon. I just can't believe they haven't like got their freedom yet. This is incredible. Still haven't picked up a win here. I don't, we, there's a lot of fighters that fight at a free rayon gym. But I, I can't remember the last time they've won. I did see one, I saw one. Not a knock on the skill level, just a string of bad luck. Even uh, Jumbo coming into this fight with two uh, prior points losses. Definitely could be looking to turn things around for himself here and his team. Oh yeah. I mean it's a lot of pressure. They're fighting for the freedom of Ray Hall. <laughs> Sharp. Good time body kick there from Extra. Keeping the pressure on here in this first round, but takes a good knee there from Jumbo. Oh, good elbow from Extra. for the cut kick there. Extra, but Jumbo, good reactions. Sway back and counter kick from him. Inside the clinch. The referees here at Max, they will let the fighters continue in the clinch as long as they throw knees. But if they start to slow down, the ref will step in, separate both fighters. The elbow from uh, Extra getting the attention there of Jumbo. You almost caught him with another good one. we got halfway to go here in this first round. Anticipating that counter kick from Extra, but taking that leap up, getting taken down for his efforts there. Good one too though from Jumbo. See the referee just getting in the ear there, trying to urge on both fighters. Can't hang back too much here, Max. The referee will give you a warning. Good right hand there from yeah. Jumbo. I was gonna say, beautiful sway back. Just about 25 seconds to go here in our first round. Jumbo got to be careful. He was inching back there a second ago. He's got to be very, very careful. Yeah. So far, the more aggressive uh, start here from Extra. Oh, 
Hanging back a lot. Again, the referee just getting his ear there. Good body kick there from Extra at the bell to end the first round. Muay Thai Fighter! So good start here for Extra Kukiao Naya. Kept the pressure on in that first round. Took the fight to Jumbo. Had him on the back foot. We saw the referee getting in the ear there of Jumbo, telling him to push forward. Good sway back though from him. Landed with that right hand. There's not enough to hold off the attacks coming in from Extra. Here we go now, round number two. Good luck, Jumbo. Yeah, able to wrench down in the neck there. Extra. Oh, nice jump and kick though from the red corner. Definitely starting to come to life here in this second round. Jumbo. Just needs a little bit more urgency though. Solid that time. They must step in with that long knee from the outside. Takes one back. Again, he's always hanging back, waiting for the counter shots here, Jumbo. Beautiful sway back again. I mean, he's getting very close with that sway back and landing that right hand flush. And if extra like falls into it, it could be a very powerful punch. Extra having to chase him down. Oh, again, the right hand though. Coming in from Jumbo. Again, he's got that tight lock inside the clinch, Jumbo. Just a little bit slow to get the knees off. But good control from him. Solid body, body kick as well. Here with final knee though, coming in from extra as we make our way to our one minute mark here in the second round. We're just tuning in, this is the opening fight here at the Max Muay Thai Stadium for our Tuesday night Max Muay Thai Fighter Show. Solid knee down the middle that time there from extra as he had that arm and head trapped. Jumbo looks tired. Yeah. Breathing heavily, arms hanging low. Now's not the time. It's still another round remaining. Oh. Can we get the warning? It's the first warning for him. Three warnings. He will get a point deducted. Jackson hurt him drastically in a close fight. And again, he's still going back. Yeah. Not really listening to the referee. You gotta imagine, this corner is gonna give him a stern talking to him between rounds here. And of round number two. Muay Thai Fighter! So coming into our third and final round now. Solid round again there for extra Kukiao Naya. Jumbo looked very tired at the end of that uh, bell. Yeah, wound up getting a warning as well from the referee. You can see him standing here as we go into this third round. Mouth open, breathing heavily. His arms were hanging down there. The, the posture alone was saying it all. This is going to be worse for him. To try and engage in the clinch, if you're already exhausted and you're not a, a natural grind them out kind of clincher, he's only making it worse for himself. He's going to have to pick his moments, of, pick and choose his moments in the clinch. Good solid knee from that time, but again, it's extra who gets the final knee off. It's always key as well inside these exchanges to be the first one to attack, the last one to attack. 
It's going to look better on the scorecards. It'll look better in the judges' eyes. Just help me show that you have more control. I was going to say, Jumbo still was inching back there a moment ago. Could be a style as well. You can't, I mean, we hear Max, they favor the fighters to go forward and use that forward effective aggression, but sometimes it's not even in a fighter's style to do that. Very true. Some fighters like to hang back, play the counter game. We can't really expect every every fight to come out to start uh yeah turn into a Chenna style fight right away. Yeah, unless they're Cambodian, then you kind of can. <laughs> we do have two Cambodians though, so we do have a chance for that. Yes. Jumbo is tired. Jumbo's problem is he's when he gets in the clinch, he, I think he's putting so much uh, uh, emphasis on maintaining that lock instead of free flowing in there that he's wearing himself out. We'll see him, he'll get into the clinch, and he'll grinch down on that lock so hard, but he's not even throwing knees. It's just, you can tell he's exerting. I mean, you can look at the muscles. When he's in there, he's in full contraction. You can just see that's exhausting. He's building lactic acid up. When he gets that lock around, he's, got, now he's definitely not doing himself any favors in the cardio department. Dancing around here at the final minute of the fight. Not doing himself any favors. None. He's exhausted. I think his posture and body language in this round might call from the fight. Yeah. Could be an easy victory here. Nothing else happens for extra. Almost turned his back there and walking away. Looking disinterested in the fight here at this point. But we still got 30 seconds on the clock, and the fighters here, they got to fight until the end. Yeah. It's not like the stadiums where they can hang back the last round, protect their points. He tried to run by on the referee for a <laughs> second. He's like, if I stand by you, they won't attack me. <laughs> the referees here at Max, though, they, they're going to get in there, encourage the fighters to get in there and fight. Yeah. As we saw last week, uh, that one referee pulling the fighter out of the corner and pushing him into the middle of the ring. Beautiful. <laughs> That's one of my highlights. <laughs> So there's the belt to end the third and final rounds. The hands up in the air, giving himself a clap there, Jumbo, but you can see the facial expression said it all. I'd be very surprised if he pulls this off. Pulls this off. Good catch and return from him there, but just very little coming out from the blue corner towards the end of that round. Extra on the other hand, he stayed aggressive, kept busy inside the clinch, took the fight to Jumbo. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before we go to the judge a decision, let's check out the final prize. สนับสนุนโดย Max Muay Thai Facebook Page Page Official ใหม่ติดตามตารางการแข่งขันและผลการตัดสินทุกรายการจากสนาม Max Muay Thai Stadium พัทยารับชมการถ่ายทอดสด Facebook Live ทั้งบรรยายไทยและภาษาอังกฤษกดไลค์กดติดตาม Max Muay Thai Official ได้แล้ววันนี้โนพรอยส์ Max Muay Thai Facebook Page Alright ladies and gentlemen of the three rounds of action we go to the judges scorecard for the winner Red Corner Extra Hukio Naya All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back after a short break. Next fight, Thailand versus Cambodia. And this is Muay Thai Fighter. Muay Thai Fighter. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Muay Thai Fighter. And now let's move on to our second bout, Thailand versus Cambodia. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the second round of Muay Thai Fighter. Let's go to the second round of Muay Thai Fighter. Let's go to the second round of Muay Thai Fighter. Let's go to the second round of Muay Thai Fighter. Let's go to the second round of Muay Thai Fighter. Let's go to the second round of Muay Thai Fighter. Let's go to the second round of Muay Thai Fighter. Let's go to the second round of Muay Thai Fighter. Let's go to the second round of Muay Thai Fighter. Let's go to the second round of Muay Thai Fighter. Let's go to the second round of Muay Thai Fighter. Let's go to the second round of Muay Thai Fighter. Let's go to the second round of Muay Thai Fighter. Let's go to the second round of Muay Thai Fighter. Let's go to the second round of Muay Thai Fighter. Let's go to the second สัตนาเสียมมวยไทยฟาเตอร์เลยสัตว์เจ้า
Hanover, introducing a Cambodian warrior fighting out of the blue corner, 26 years of age, training at Ego Gym. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Satna Siam. And his opponent in the red corner, a Thai warrior, he representing Surin province, 17 years of age. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Chok Thai, So Mong Khon Chai. Introducing a Thai warrior fighting out of the red corner. He representing Surin province, 17 years of age. Ladies and gentlemen, Chok Thai, So Mong Khun Thai. Moving on now to our second fight on tonight's card. Thailand taking on Cambodia in the 51 kilogram division. And introducing first in the blue corner, Sana Siam. He's from Cambodia, 26 years old, stands at 157 centimeters. Has 29 fights, 20 wins, 2 draws, and 7 losses. Very impressive record so far. First round TKO win against Petnakun Sit Kanan Sawat. First round TKO win against Yod Champ Sit Nayaka. And a first round TKO win against Bunkon. Whoa, Sit Paulek. He also had a draw against Fakam Rek Ponwohan. He trains and fights at the Eagle Gym here in Chombri, where he's trained by Yot Awut Pet Rambo. His opponent in the red corner. Chok Chai saw Mong Kong Chai. He's from Sarin, 17 years old, stands at 167 centimeters. He has 32 fights, 23 wins, and 9 losses. His last two fights here at Max, he had a first round TKO loss. The Sak Sit War Division 11. And a second round TKO loss to Si Yui Kun Wang Luang. He trains and fights at a Saw Mong Kong Chai in Surin, where he's trained by Nampu and managed by Tawat Chai in Sa Art. So this can make things very interesting because Sana having three back-to-back -back TKO wins in the first round. And uh, Chokchai having two TKO losses on his record here. So, oh. He's definitely going to want to protect that chin. Doing a good job thus far with yeah. the push kick. Landed that push kick to the face as well. Woo! Very nice. Woo, this can be action-packed. But again, this is, you know, we're talking about a Cambodian here. Oh, yeah. And uh, they, they need that push kick to the face just to get them uh, reminded that they're in a fight. Once they wake up, it'll be a different story. But again, good work here. Keeping uh, the shorter fighter, Sana, on the outside. Chokcha does not want to play around with elbows against the Cambodian. Uh, you see the Cambodian. He wants to get in there. Just struggling a little bit to get past the, uh, the hands and, and teeps here. The red corner. And that's what the red corner, choke shot's got to do that. Yeah. If he starts playing with him, uh, elbows, it's a short range weapon, and it's going to put the Cambodian right to his happy place. He needs to stay as long as he possibly can. Yep. Damn, beautiful push kick there. Good elbow that time from choke shot. That's going to be a mistake. If he keeps playing elbows with the Cambodian, Cambodians live there. That's their happy place. Yeah. You start playing elbows with them, they smile. I mean, you can see he, he just wants to get in there so bad. Yeah. Sana. There he goes. Yeah. It was a mistake. Landed that uh, left rising elbow. And Chokchai, is, I hope he doesn't have a momentary lapse in concentration because it seems that way. He's playing a shorter guy's fight against the Cambodian, which is just disaster. <laughs> The thing is, he's going to have to keep this up for nine minutes, yeah. and, uh, and that could be challenging. If his health is important to him, he'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. There's that left hand there from Sana. And it's because he's getting into a short-range game. Oh, and it's a short left to the body that sent him down. Grimace in the pain over there. He might not make the count. 
I think I seen the Cambodian beat up the Grim Reaper once. <laughs> he won't even visit Cambodia. I saw on his list of like never to visit places. <laughs> what a powerhouse. Sana picking up his fourth first round TKO win here. What a powerhouse. I think he wants more. He's looking around like, nah. wait, is this over yet? He's confused. Like, did somebody else come in now? <laughs> <laughs> Good show of respect, though, over there, helping uh, choke Chai off the canvas. Yeah, he's helping him up. He's like, I think we can continue. If you, if you don't look hurt, we can go to another round. He didn't really satisfy that. <laughs> he's utterly confused. He's like, uh, someone else is going to come in, right? <laughs> There's no blood. Oh. You need the blood in a Cambodian fight. No, oh, you got to love the Cambodians. They are just a breed of their own, man. <laughs> อาราลิซานชอนอัมมาเดอะไฟท์ออฟพรายส์สนับสนุนโดยแม็กซ์มวยไทยเฟซบุ๊กเพจเพจออฟฟิเชียลใหม่ติดตามตารางการแข่งข
and managed by Fairo Namtum Chok Pricha. Almost ready now for our first round. Two southpaws for this one. Last start here for Super Knight. Oh, oh my goodness. The left Beautiful. hand. He's stumbled him back there. He might not have recovered yet. No, start off with that lead right hook. Whoa, that was fast. Struggling to get back to his feet here. He's not in his over. head that he wants to continue, but he can't come off the ropes. He's got to be able to take that step off the ropes. There he goes. No, he's not right. Look nah, at him. He's he got to stop that. Oh, wow. They have to stop it. He's bad. Oh, oh, my God. Vicious kick there at the end. Wow. Oh. So checking on his downed opponent. Got to see that again. I don't know if that was a late shot or what. Uh, nah, he was on the ropes. I mean, it was. Yeah, it looked like a clean shot. There was a little bit of confusion, though. The referee he might have tried to step in. We got to see it again here. He just wasn't right in any position to continue whatsoever. Yeah. That was no. the first knockdown. Oh! Ooh, there it was there. Right on the chin. So look. Ooh. Mm. Just caught him on the chin there. I'm not sure what, what happens there when he's holding onto the ropes like that. It might fall on the red corner in that case. All right, and it's time to show them on the fight of prize. สนับสนุนโดย Max m u a Thai Facebook Page Page Official ใหม่ติดตามตารางการแข่งขันและผลการตัดสินทุกรายการจากสนาม Max m u a Thai Stadium พัทยารับชมการถ่ายทอดสด Facebook Live ทั้งบรรยายไทยและภาษาอังกฤษกดไลค์กดติดตาม Max m u a Thai Official ได้แล้ววันนี้โดว์พรอยส์แม็กซ์มวยไทยเฟซบุ๊กเพจ All right and it's hand gentlemen we have a winner by way of technical knockout blue corner super knight Chai Dynamo All right and it's hand gentlemen I'll be right back the shot break this is Muay Thai fighter ไทยไฟเตอร์ Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Muay Thai Fighter. อะไรครับคุณผู้ชมครับมาลุยกันต่อเลยกับมวยคู่ที่4ของรายการมวยไทยไฟเตอร์วันนี้มวยเดือดกันมากเลยเอาคู่นี้จะเป็นยังไงไปรุ่นกันครับ Ladies and gentlemen, introducing a Thai warrior fighting out of the blue corner. He representing r a y o n g Province, 15 years of age. Ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for Petla or s u b i t e r Ladies and gentlemen, introducing a young Thai warrior fighting out of the blue corner. He representing r e d y o n g Province, 15 years of age. Petta or s u b i t e r and his opponent in the red corner, another young Thai warrior. He representing k o n k a n Province, 15 years of age. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for r u n p e t l e k n a y o b a k w i l Introducing a Thai warrior fighting out of the red corner. He representing Khon Kaen Province, 15 years of age. 
เรือนเพชรเล็กนายาบอกวิวมุกนอนาวทัวร์โคเมนอีเวนต์ this one in the 47 kilogram division introducing first in the blue corner Petkla a l s a b a i t a he's from Rayong 15 years old stands at 162 centimeters has 43 fights 26 wins 4 draws and 13 losses his last two fights here at Max he had a points win against Petkai Dan then on f i n i n and a draw against Pet b o a u n g d u c h a r a He trains and fights at a l s a b a i t a in Rayong, where he's trained by Dan Pa r u k i e t and managed by o d u n s a b a i t a His opponent in the red corner, r u l i n Petlek, Naya Park View. He's from Konken, 15 years old, stands at 162 centimeters. He has 33 fights, 21 wins, one draw, and 11 losses. He trains and fights at a Naya Park View in Konken, where he's trained by Nampo Naya Park View and managed by Wat T. Pon Mason. Is this Red's debut? He looks very familiar. Uh, he has two fights here at Max. Okay. Ooh. Good elbow from from Red. Yes. Set the bar. I think that's one of the best, and most underutilized shots in Muay Thai is that lead uppercut. Yeah, we don't really get to see it too often. No, I mean it sets up everything. You can lead uppercut and lift the head up, and the way to. A lot of times, Thai fighters stance, they leave that center line real open. And more than not, they're expecting straight shots. Good knee there across the side from Bruin Petlek. Patient start from both fighters. Just having a good look at each other there. Good low kick there from the red corner. Oh, beautiful hook and low kick back from Pekla. Jumping in, sending back his opponent with that push kick. Don't forget, still to come on our card tonight. We got a main event coming up next. Fa Sang a l Yuta Chai taking on. Hatsun Raja Park University. After that, we have two more exciting fights, so stay tuned for those as well. Good push kick from Red. Oh, hammering the elbow right down the middle there, catching p e c k l a on the forehead. Solid knee though back from Pekla, trying to use that glove in the face, pull the head back of uh, his opponent, r u n g Petlek. Forty seconds remaining here in the first round. High kick there, but falling into the clinch. Not much action for either fighter inside with the knees. Still easing into the fight here with solid knees, though, from the blue corner that time. And of round one. So coming into the second round now for our co-main event. Slow start yeah. to the fight so far. Not really much happening in that first round. Both fighters.
Still going through that feeling out process. Open up with the elbows early on. Got uh, Rung Petlek. See him catching Petka on the forehead with the elbow there. Oh! Here we go now, round two. Definitely a more explosive start. Uh, see why they saved their energy for this round. Yeah. Sometimes the fighters do that though. They just take off the first round, kind of coast through the first three minutes. And then they do just that flip the switch. Come out completely different fighters in the second round. Especially if they're clinch fighters. They, they kind of uh, save themselves in that first round. Both of them doing a good job of standing their ground as well. Oh, very nice. Good lock there from uh, Pekla. Looking for that rising elbow through the guard once again. Able to take that step back, land with that knee to the body of Rook Petlek. Oh! Three good knees there from the blue corner in that exchange. Again though, on the outside, not much happening. Halfway to go here in the second round. Another solid knee across the belly there from Pekla. Oh! oh. Finishing with off. With one across the back. Good knees from Blue. Yeah. I think they're hurt. Yeah, definitely taking control here inside the clinch. Almost lifting up his opponent. Little Pet Lecto getting the takedown, buying himself a few extra seconds. He's marching forward now, trying to get into the clinch, but beautiful control there from uh, Pet Glass so far. Forty seconds remaining now here in the second round. Oh, and the long knee! Wow, he walked right into that one. Beautiful. That's it. So our third stoppage in a row here tonight. Beautiful shot there from Pekla. He loaded up with that knee, and not only that, but Rum Petlek was walking into it at the same time. See it again on the highlights in just a second. See some of these exchanges first inside the clinch. See Pekla just using the glove in the face, pulling the head back there of Lunung Petlek. And he caught him just as he was walking in there. Beautiful shot. Took that step back and then loaded up with the knee. Oh. Ooh, folded him over. Ram right in. Oh. You can see the look on the face there of Rung Petlek. Even before he got hit with the knee, he knew it was coming. Ooh. No way to avoid that one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the fighter prize. สนับสนุนโดย Max Muay Thai Facebook Page Page Official ใหม่ติดตามตารางการแข่งขันและผลการตัดสินทุกรายการจากสนาม Max Muay Thai Stadium พัทยารับชมการถ่ายทอดสด Facebook Live ทั้งบรรยายไทยและภาษาอังกฤษกดไลค์กดติดตาม Max Muay Thai Official ได้แล้ววันนี้No prize. Max Muay Thai Facebook page. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner by way of Janico Nagel Blue Corner Petra or Sabai Ta. คุณผู้ชมวันนี้น็อกกันเยอะนี่มีสิทธิ์ได้ดูคู่6ต่อนะครับเพราะฉะนั้นหลังคู่ต่อไปนี่อย่าเพิ่งรีบเปลี่ยนช่องกันนะ Alright ladies and gentlemen I'll be right back the shot break this is Muay Thai Fighter Muay Thai Fighter Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Muay Thai Fighter. And now it's time for tonight's main event. 
เอาละครับคุณผู้ชมครับตอนนี้เดินทางมาถึงมวยคู่เอกคู่ที่5ของรายการเราแล้วและหลังจากมวยคู่นี้นะครับอย่าเพิ่งรีบเปลี่ยนช่องนะเพราะเดี๋ยวเราได้ต่อมวยคู่ที่6กันนะครับ Alright, ladies and gentlemen, introducing a Thai warrior fighting out of the blue corner. He representing l o i Province, 17 years of age. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for f a s o n g or y u t a c h a i Introducing a Thai warrior fighting out of the blue corner. He representing l o i Province, 17 years of age. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for f a s o n g or y u t a c h a i And his opponent in the red corner, another Thai warrior. He representing Bangkok, 20 years of age, training at Luke s u a n Gym. Ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for Hudson Moore Rajapluk. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing a Thai warrior fighting out of the red corner. He representing Bangkok. 20 years of a l e ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Hudson Moore Rajapluk. Moving on now to our main event on tonight's show. This one in the 58 kilogram division. And introducing first in the blue corner, Fa Sang or Yuta Chai. He's from l u i 17 years old, stands at 170 centimeters. Has 39 win or 39 fights, 26 wins, one draw, 12 losses. His last fight here at Max, he had a first round at KO win against Super Champ Chemwon Blasot. He trains and fights out of All Yuta Chai in l u i where he's trained by Maki Sa Sirian Namchok, and he's managed by Yuta Chai Suko. His opponent in the red corner, Hatsun Raja p r u k University. He's from Bangkok, 20 years old, stands at 165 centimeters. He has 48 fights, 29 wins, and 19 losses. His last four fights here at Max, he had a points loss against Rung Siam Sitnaya Kasomchat. A points win against. Maiwan saw b a n k r u A points loss against Petsila Boon La Lane. His last fight here at Max. Points loss against Boon Chu Chok Bang San. He trains and fights at a Luke Suwan gym in Bangkok where he's trained and managed by Bang Mat Luke Suwan. First round of our main event. No belt on the line for our Max Muay Thai fighter show on Mondays and Tuesdays. So if this fight goes to a draw, it's going to stay a draw. Both orthodox fighters for this one. Heaviest fighters on tonight's show as well. 58 kilos for these two on our main card. Good fast high kick there from Fa Sang. Nice one back though from Hatson. We've seen Hatson here quite a bit. Oh, great body shot! Oh, yeah, that might have uh, yeah, did a little damage. He didn't like that one. Ooh, great combination here from Blue. Looking dangerous with the hand so far. But like you said though, Hatson, he's got a lot of experience here at Max. I gotta tell you, that's the first time I've seen a combination of fighter throw a left hook to the bottom and step in with a knee. Two. Big power from Blue. Oh, he is God. He's good. ripping those body shots. He is dangerous. Yeah, I think you're you're uh, 
your motto that you like to use that somebody stole his lunch money. I think that applies here. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? Uh, his combinations are so unorthodox that it's hard for Hassan to pick him up. I mean, we're in a safe zone, and it's hard for us to even pick up what he's doing. <laughs> he's getting a warning here, but I don't think he has much of a choice. Every time he steps in, he's, he's eating something. Yeah, can you blame him? <laughs> <laughs> I want to move backwards. Man. I'm not in there. <laughs> <laughs> Just a confident look on the face of Fa Song as the round goes on. He's faced zero threat thus far, so I mean, yeah. he has zero reason to back up. <laughs> Which... Oh, oh that, that body shot is the thing of beauty for him. And he throws it with, I mean, his elbows, his knee, I mean, yeah. that's under no witch coming. He hit him with a right body kick and he was right in front of him for that right elbow. It's not what you expect there for a right body kick most times. No. That's what I mean, he's so unorthodox that Hatsan is a smart fighter. You just can't pick up. Uh, what he does is so unorthodox. You're not training for this. It's like being thrown into a violent blender. <laughs> Going upstairs that time, and just sharp knees, left and right, coming in from Fasan. Well, to Hatsan, good news is he's going to survive the round. The bad news is <laughs> he's got to come out for the second round. There's the bell. Muay Thai fighter. Coming into the second round now, Fa Song. Very impressive first round here. Amazing work all around. I mean, can't really say enough about him. Not to take anything yeah. away from Hatsun, but so far it's been uh, all Fa Song. That's what's making it more impressive. Is we know how good Hatsan is. And I mean, just look at this. The combinations, the power. It's rare you see a fighter with everything. I mean, the body. I mean, oh, this is incredible. Here we go now. Round number two. Good knee to start things off here from Fasang. Hatsan looking fired up, though. He's got to be. He, I, there's no other way around it. Yeah. He's got to do something to get the respects here of his opponent. He can't play Mui Fimo with this guy. Uh, Hassan has to just, he's got, he might have to be a little reckless because I don't see how he's gonna win this technical battle. Now, oh, we haven't seen the clinch yet, so let's see who has the advantage. Yeah, looking good in the clinch, Hassan. Scoring with two knees. And he might have found his home there. Just gotta get past the uh, oh. offensive Fasan to get in there. And sharp left right there from the blue corner. Follows up with an elbow. I think this is that where Hatsan, he found his home. Yeah. He stay here. Oh. Good knees to the midsection here, Fasan. Definitely a lot better inside the clinch. Yeah, you see his corner tell him, get back in there. And they're absolutely right. Hatsan needs to stay in there. I mean, he could come out. If he can pound on... Fasang a little bit. If he can beat him up inside of here, he might be able to play on the outside afterwards. But he's going to need to spend at least a round beating him up in the clinch. Better job of defending the knees of Fasang as well. Beautiful adjustments in between rounds here from the red corner. Completely different round from what we saw in the uh, opening here. Solid knees down the middle there from Hatsun. What was turning out to look like a massacre is actually... Yeah. Oh, oh, my goodness. And the body kick sending him down. Beautiful. What a you shot from that son. He can't find the neutral corner. It might not matter, though. That's going to be it. That's it. Beautiful. What a comeback from Hat Sun after that opening round. Wow. Like you said, he softened him up with those knees inside the clinch. Finished him off with a body kick on the outside. What a performance. What a comeback there from Hatsun. Amazing. That's got to go up there in my top comebacks, I think. And definitely in the top 10 combat comebacks we've seen in Max. That was good. 
Driving the knees down the middle there. The, the midsection of uh, Fa Sang looking very red up until that kick. Oh. There it was again there. Turning away. Can't do anything once the body shuts down. Oh. คุณผู้ชมมวยคู่นี้หลังมวยคู่นี้นะครับเราไปต่อมวยคู่ที่6กันนะอย่าเพิ่งรีบเปลี่ยนช่องกันนะ Alright ladies and gentlemen let's check out the fighter prize สนับสนุนโดย Max มวยไทย Facebook Page Page Official ใหม่ติดตามตารางการแข่งขันและผลการตัดสินทุกรายการจากสนาม Max มวยไทยสเตเดียมพัทยารับชมการถ่ายทอดสด Facebook Live ทั้งบรรยายไทยและภาษาอังกฤษกดไลค์กดติดตาม Max มวยไทย Official ได้แล้ววันนี้โอ้พรอยส์แม็กซ์มวยไทยเฟซบุ๊กเพจ Alright ladies and gentlemen we have a winner by ways of knockout red corner ฮัตสันมอราชพฤกคุณผู้ชมวันนี้เรามีเวลานะครับเดี๋ยวเราต่อมวยกู้ที่6นะอย่าเพิ่งรีบเปลี่ยนช่องไปไหนนะนักชกจากมอโดว่าปะทะกับนักชกจากประเทศจีนนะครับ Alright ladies and gentlemen be right back after short break next fight m o l d o v a versus China and this is Muay Thai fighter Muay Thai fighter Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Muay Thai Fighter. And now let's move on to our sixth bout: Moldova versus China. Ah, sound ดังกระหึ่มแบบนี้ครับในมวยกู้ที่หกของเรานักชกจากประเทศ Moldova ประทะกับนักชกจากประเทศจีนครับ Alright, ladies and gentlemen, introducing a Moldovan warrior fighting out of the blue corner. 20 years of age training at what Muay Thai gym? Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Katalin Movila. Introducing a Moldovan warrior fighting on what the blue corner. 20 years of age training at what Muay Thai gym? Katalin Movila. And his opponent in the red corner, a Chinese warrior. He representing Luke Suan Gym. 21 years of age, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for. Gong Xiao Dong. China makes some noise. Introducing a Chinese warrior fighting out of the red corner. He representing Lu Xuan Jim. Twenty-one years of age, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for. Gong Xiao Tong. Moving on now to our sixth fight on tonight's show. International affair for this one: China taking on Moldova in the 62 kilogram division. And introducing first in the blue corner, Catalin Movila. He's from Moldova, 20 years old, stands at 176 centimeters. Has 21 fights, 12 wins, two draws, and seven losses. His last two fights here at Max, he had a points loss to Arono Zakchanu. And a points loss to Chern Jinlong from China. He trains and fights out of Wat Muay Thai in Udon Thani. And he's trained by Tanawat Bunlert and managed by Senchai. His opponent in the red corner. Bong Jiao Tong from China, 21 years old, stands at 170 centimeters, has 51 fights, 38 wins, two draws, and 11 losses. His first fight here at Max, he had a first round TKO win against Tamen Chai Ao San Suk, and a second round KO loss against Pet Po Chai Ku Art Mung Pong Tong. 
He trains and fights at a Luxuan gym where he's trained and managed by Bang Ma. So Luxuan gym. We saw his uh, teammate fight. Our last fight on the main event, Hat Sun. But Luke Suan Jim, very popular with the Chinese fighters in Bangkok. Yeah. I'm still trying to figure out if we figured out where Moldova is. I think it's in Russia. You're asking the wrong person. <laughs> I know where New Jersey is. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I can point out New Jersey on the map. <laughs> if you spin the globe in the right direction. <laughs> I do remember Canada's fight against El Rono. You can't really forget that. You can't forget a Rono, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he is a special person. Great body work already by the Chinese fighter. Working the knees inside the clinch. Good knee back though from Caitlin. Wow, it's that Chinese fighter doing the good work in the clinch. Surprising. Yeah. The Luke Suwan though, they got a good program over there. They, they so the, the fighters are gonna be well trained. They're gonna know the basics, at least inside the clinch. Yeah, he, much more of a toss out than we're used to seeing from the Chinese fighter. And he still has that great Chinese boxing as well. So, ooh. This could be a rough go for Caitlin here. Trying to soak up the punches now from Gong. He's trying to jockey for position there inside the clinch. Only a minute into our fight. One thing impressed me about Gong so far is Unlike a lot of the Chinese fighters we've seen, he's really pacing himself. He's not overexerting too much. He's yeah. just looking for the right shots. Very impressive thus far. Good job with Peyton throwing some knees. Yeah, score with those knees down the middle there. Good defense though from Gong. The corner of Gong telling him to work those elbows when he gets inside. Oh! Making the space, Caitlin that time. Land with the right elbow. Good flurry back though from Gong. Ooh, very nice. Gong switching up here, very nice. Can't push back a lot though. Good knee there from Caitlin that time. Shaping up to be a very even match. Again, Cotillin with those knees, stabbing him down the middle there. Looking strong as we come down to the 32nd mark here in our first round. Again, sharp knee there from Cotillin. Backing up Gong into the corner now. Gong looking a little bit tired. I'm not sure why. He didn't, he didn't seem like he came out uh, ballistically. I mean, he seemed really to pace himself. End of round one. Muay Thai Fighter. So here we go into our second round now. Strong opening for Gong, but strong ending for Katalin. Able to come to life inside the clinch, score with the knees, do a lot of damage to the body of his uh, opponent. Good sharp kick though from Gong, but right back into the clinch. The Moldovian fighter firing away with the knees now. Low kicks coming in from both. Overhand right catching Catalan that time, but able to get those knees off inside the clinch. Keeping the head buried in the chest there of Gong. Gong on the back foot big time here. Gotta be careful with that. 
Yeah, the referee's keeping a very close eye on it. Yep. Kind of knew that was coming. The referee telling him to push forward the corner. Oh! Late kick there. And you can see he apologized right away there. Luckily for uh, Caitlin. Oh! Wasn't a clean shot, but he might have. Got to wonder if that hurt him a little bit here. Good toughness being shown by Caitlin. He's hurt. You gotta wonder if that kick hurt him. Wow. Yeah, Chinese fighter needs to push off. Push off and punch. Looking like a different fighter here. Struggling to stay on his feet. Yeah, wow. Gong. Gong power. Gong looking tired himself. Can he finish it? Got Cotillin trapped in the corner. He's getting too elbow happy. It's not working. He's got to punch. He should go down to the body. 40 seconds on the clock here. Gatlin taking a glance up at the clock. Yeah, the legs just aren't under him right now. I don't think Gong has enough power to put the finish the touches no. on. That's the ironic thing here. Yeah, they're both exhausted. I might be counting the saving grace there a moment ago and said Gong didn't have any power and energy <laughs> left either. Good low kick there from Cotillin. He's starting to push forward now. Has he cleared his head? And the round two. Muay Thai fighter. So, coming into our third and final round. Very interesting turn of events in that second round. Let's see how it plays out now. Has Catalan cleared his head? He was looking dangerous inside the clinch up until he got that, looked like a late kick in the corner. Three good sharp knees there coming in from Catalin. Good low kick though from Gong. Going upstairs afterwards. Switching stances back and forth here, Gong, between Southpaw and Orthodox. They are exhausted, both of them. Kind of got to wonder whoever can dig. Dig a little deep to pull out of, to pull away here. And good sharp knees now. Can he land some more here, Catalan? There he goes. Takes one back from Gong. Gong does not like to be in the clinch. Got the Chinese. Fighter on the back foot now. Catalan waking up the crowd with that flurry of knees. He's got a minute 20 to go. The body kick there from Gong. Sway back and again with the body kick. Overhand right. Here goes Gatlin back inside the clinch. Oh! Wild punches coming in now. Gong trying to finish him off. Ooh. Going upstairs to the right. Left high kick. Very nice. 30 seconds to go. Catalan has got to get inside that clinch. 
taking a lot of punishment on the outside. Got to wonder if that final flurry from Gong secured himself the win here. Went upstairs the high kick and another left hook, right hook. There's the bell to end the third and final round. Both fighters looking very, very happy that the fight is over. Yeah. I don't think Gong can come off those ropes. See some of the action from that third and final round. Good start to the round from Catalan. Looking dangerous with the knees. They tried to stay in the trade on the outside with Gong and that's where things went kind of bad for him there. There's that beautiful sharp right hook there from Gong at the end of the fight. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the fight of price. สนับสนุนโดย Max Muay Thai Facebook Page Page Official ใหม่ติดตามตารางการแข่งขันและผลการตัดสินทุกรายการจากสนาม Max Muay Thai Stadium พัทยารับชมการถ่ายทอดสด Facebook Live ทั้งบรรยายไทยและภาษาอังกฤษกดไลค์กดติดตาม Max Muay Thai Official ได้แล้ววันนี้โดว์พรอยส์ Max Muay Thai Facebook Page Alright ladies and gentlemen of the three rounds of action we go to the judges scorecard for the winner Red Corner Dong Xiao Tong All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be right back. Let's shut for it. This is your boy Toe Fighter. Boy Thai Fighter. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Boy Thai Fighter. And now let's move on to our last fight. Thailand versus Cambodia. อะไรครับคุณผู้ชมครับตอนนี้เดินทางมาถึงมวยคู่สุดท้ายของรายการในค่ำคืนนี้นักชกไทยเจอกับนักชกจากกัมพูชา All right, ladies and gentlemen, introducing a Cambodian warrior fighting out of the blue corner, 19 years of age training at s u w a n p o l a m a i s u p a t r a j i m Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for s o w i n Introducing a Cambodian warrior fighting out of the blue corner. 19 years of age, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for Saw Win. And this opponent in the red corner, a Thai warrior. He representing Chayapum Province. 19 years of age, training at EUM Muay Thai Gym. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Kanakorn. EUM Muay Thai Gym. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing a Thai warrior fighting out of the red corner. He represents Chayapum Province. 19 years of age. Ladies and gentlemen. กันนครอีย e เอ็มมวยทยเจม Moving on now to our final fight on tonight's show, Thailand taking on Cambodia in the 56 kilogram division. And introducing first in the blue corner, c h a w i n He's from Cambodia, 19 years old, stands at 172 centimeters, has 23 wins, 23 fights, 16 wins, and seven losses. Last two fights here at Max, he had a first round TKO win against Zhang Daojin from China, followed by a first round TKO loss against Yi Yan Yu from China. He trains and fights out of Suwanpon, Suwanpolamai, Supatra, and Chomburi.
His opponent in the red corner, Gan Nakon, EUM Muay Thai Jim. He's from Chayapum, 19 years old, stands at 165 centimeters. Has 33 fights, 27 wins, and 6 losses. He trains and fights out of EUM Muay Thai in Chombri, where he's trained by Ekapap, Dalatnam Sipat. And he's managed by Exit. Arasi. <laughs> See Ekapop there removing the Mong Kong from Ganakon. Ekapop himself, a uh, veteran of the Max Muay Thai Stadium. Had some exciting fights on the Max Muay Thai Ultimate Show on Sunday. Since though is uh, retired, opened up his own gym here in Patea, right next to the Patea Float and Market. Actually, inside the Patea Float and Market. So here we go, round number one. Slightly taller of the two fighters, the Cambodian Chaw Win. Left body kick though from Gannikon. Good knee. Two good knees back from Chaw. Gannikon trying to climb up there on top of Chaw. Oh, oh wow. Oh, now inching forward here, backing up Ganakon into the ropes. The jab from the Cambodian follows up with a left knee. Back into the clinch though, and that, oh no. Really, really pulling that head down here, Ganakon. Looking to set up the knee to the face. Solid one, two down the middle there from Chaw. Oh, big elbow as well. Some good jumping knees though, coming in from Gandakon, taking that step back, trying to make the space for the knee. There he goes. Good lock. Yeah. Relentless with the knees there. Oh, getting a turn as well. Ooh, the referee saved him. Fifty seconds remaining here. Again, the con took a glance up at the clock. It's Charles who's pushing forward. Oh, that's difficult against the Cambodian because they're always coming forward. Yeah. So it's kind of like if you're not ready to meet fire with fire, you're going to get warnings. And good step and knees down the middle there from Chaw. 15 seconds left here in the first round. Right hand connected now. Good lock again though from Gandakon wrapping up his opponent at the belt in the first round. Muay Thai fighter. Coming into our second round. Back and forth in that round. Good solid knees coming in from Chaw. But returning the favor there again to Khan. You see him just using the gloves, pushing the head back of the Cambodian, driving the knees forward. Here we go, round number two.
push kicks here at the start of the second round to unsettle his opponent. Oh, Big beautiful up. elbow. Dan Akon trying to jump in with his own there. Dan, he's very dominant with that position. Once he gets the gloves in the face there, Chaw. Very hard for Chaw to get out of that. Another beautiful rising elbow from the Cambodian. Corner of Charles, telling him to stay busy inside the clinch with the knees. There he goes now, looking to set up the elbows as well. Good body kick from Charles. Oh. Oh, nice takedown there from Gandacon. Keeping the head buried in the chest. Oh, that hurt. Sinking the knees in. This could be it. No yep. attempt to get up there. That's it. The referee's stopping the fight. Just a minute 40 into our second round. You can actually see the knee of Gandakon disappear into the midsection of uh, Chaw. Looking like he's okay now. Check out the highlights again here. Beautiful rising elbows coming in from Chaw at the start of that round. Gandakon, he was looking for that. He was able to make the space, taking those steps back. We're doing that same thing in the first round. Ooh. Second one. So that's all we got to, for tonight. Another very exciting night tonight. Lots of knockouts, a lot of action. Thanks for joining us, and don't forget to tune in tomorrow night. Six. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the fighters prize. สนับสนุนโดย Max m u a ท Thai Facebook Page Page Official ใหม่ติดตามตารางการแข่งขันและผลการตัดสินทุกรายการจากสนาม Max m u a ท Thai Stadium พัทยารับชมการถ่ายทอดสด Facebook Live ทั้งบรรยายไทยและภาษาอังกฤษกดไลค์กดติดตาม Max m u a ท Thai Official ได้แล้ววันนี้โดว์พรอยส์ Max มวยไทย Facebook Page Alright and gentlemen We have a winner By way of some take out Knock out Red Corner g a n n a k o n EUM มวยไทยเชียวเอาละครับคุณผู้ชมครับสำหรับวันนี้เวลาของรายการมวยไทยไฟเตอร์ก็ได้จบลงไปแล้ววันพรุ่งนี้นะครับอย่าลืมติดตามรายการ The Global Fight Champion Challenge กับคุณแซมนะครับอย่าละก็อย่าลืมครับเราถ่ายทอดสดนะครับ7วันเต็ม Max ทางช่อง Spring 26รวมไปถึงท่านผู้ชมนะครับสามารถรับชมได้ทุกคู่เต็มๆนะครับทั้ง Max มวยไทยโมบายแอปและ Max มวยไทย Facebook Live ครับเอาละครับสำหรับวันนี้ครับผมเบียร์ Max มวยไทยขอตัวลาคุณผู้ชมไปก่อนพบกันใหม่ครับสวัสดีครับ